this is just a zipper. A zipper, that's it. Why does a zipper cause me so much grief? It probably sounds crazy, but I'm not kidding. This zipper has been giving me all kinds of anxiety for no reason other than it's a zipper and I don't know enough about it, which is stupid, right? This is a jacket. It has a zipper. See, a zipper. I know how to use the zipper. I use the zipper. It's just a zipper. I mean, this bag, this bag has lots of zippers. Got one here. Got one here, here. Everyone knows how to use a zipper. I make stuff, and I mean, I make a lot of stuff. I haven't really figured out whether I am a woodworker, leather worker, seamstress, or whatever the heck. I don't even know. I just make whatever I feel like making when I feel like making it. I can't stop learning stuff which is sort of where the problem begins. See, the more I make, the more I have to learn. And the more I have to learn, the more I don't know, obviously, until I know it, until I learn it. So I don't know some stuff. And that stuff causes me to get hung up and break down. And then I just lay on the couch. It's not just the stuff I do in the shop. Like, even in life, there are things that I just... I get hung up on and I let them hold me back. But currently, it's the zipper. I just learned to sew like last February, so like a year ago. It was the very first time I had ever learned how to sew anything. And since then, I've been making some pretty good stuff. Like this is an apron that I made for my son. It's not sexy by any means, but it's functional. And that was kind of where it all started. And from there, it went to uh, tool rolls, and it went to handbags. And handbags is where we need zippers. Just about every tool I have in the shop is a tool that I had to teach, well, every tool in the shop is a tool I had to teach myself how to use. And I have a lot of tools. And every one of these tools was something that held me up for a quick minute. Uh, I just didn't know what I was doing or how to use it. Now, obviously the way to get over that is to just keep at it, right? Keep trying to do whatever it is that you're doing and fail. But I'm sort of a perfectionist and if it doesn't look good, I get real upset. And that, my friends, is the hang up, is it not? Come on, let me hear it from all of you. Yeah, that's the hang up. What am I gonna do? Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 this is crushing my dreams. Well, guess what? Zippers and me don't currently get along. That said, I've hit up a lot of people on Instagram just asking you know, how is it that uh, you do these zippers so well? And all of them have said the same thing. You just got to keep trying and eventually you're going to wonder how you never put zippers in anything before because they'll be that easy. So that's where I'm at right now is I'm trying to get myself motivated to screw up. Yeah, that's basically it. This isn't a video about how I went and put a zipper in something and it was awesome. This is a video about um, trying to find the motivation to fail, because I'm most likely going to fail, and find the uh, motivation to want to work through that failure. Who does that? I gotta wonder if there's other people out there that just let stuff hold them back. I mean, there's gotta be other people. I can't be the only one who's like, how is this holding me back? Zippers, folks. What is your zipper and how are you working through it? That's what I want to know. Hey, honey. Yes. Uh, what, what's your zipper in life? My zipper in life? Yeah, your zipper. What are you talking about? Never mind. <laughs>